That's okay. It's so good to see you. Hello. How are Hello. you? Hi. 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 Now he gave me an idea to do with my feathers. Yeah, you make a fan. fan. I love your feathers. <laughs> Hola, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. How's everyone doing? He says. ¿Me escuchas bien? Sí. sí. Yes. Qué sorpresa. Viste. <laughs> he says, what a surprise. <laughs> Tell him it's nice to see him. Thank you. Very Thank good you. to see you. Thank Very you. good to see you. Dicen que muy bien verte. Ah. Bueno, pues es un placer por estar con ustedes hoy, compartir en este día. He says it's a pleasure to be with you today, um, sharing this day. Thank you very much. We're like this, like, yes, thank you so much. <laughs> I've been so bueno, excited. Hasta yes, me están saliendo plumas. <laughs> he says um, there's, there's feathers coming out. Ah. Me están saliendo plumas de fuego. <laughs> I, I collect peacock feathers. But I'm waiting to be inspired on what to do with them exactly. Ella dice que ella colecta um, plumas de peacocks, pero que todavía no sabe lo que ella va a hacer con esas plumas. Ah, pues mira, tú sabes para la, los antiguos la pluma representa la ascensión. O sea, tener una pluma significa la ascensión. He says that feathers are um, represent ascension. La elevación, la purificación, el the corte, cortar el pasado, cortar el presente. Es una, lo que representa la pluma. He says it can cut uh, things from the past, it cut things from the present, and... Um, what was the other one he just said? Things from the past. Oh, and purification. Oh god, it's like this. I feel like this now. Dice que lo siente en este momento y que lo está haciendo. Sí, la la pluma representa cuando cae a la tierra la pluma es el momento de reflexionar. Y cuando se eleva la pluma, es el momento de concretar. Okay, he says, when the feather falls to the ground, it's a time of reflection. When the feathers are fluttering up high, it's attention. This is beautiful. So... Marvel. Hi, Stephanie. Hello. Hey, Stephanie. Hello. I'm just um, entering on my computer. I'm so sorry to I'm late. But um. <laughs> so, welcome to Women of the Stars with the First Lady Erica, my beautiful friend Terry, my translator for today, Dawn, Marvel Bliss, and our blessed uh, guest who we're so pleased to spend time with, Ketza Shah. <laughs> Ketza, I am just excited to be able to be here with you today. And I am appreciating that you took the time to be here. And um, we're just looking forward to coming to your retreat and allowing you to work with us in the future. And some of us are thinking of hosting and ways where we can host and just let more people know about your event coming up. I know that was a lot, Don. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Ella dice que gracias, eh, muchas gracias por estar aquí hoy en este día con nosotros. Que, hi, Loops. Lupe just came in. Eh, y que ella está muy ansiosa para eh, ir a tu, ritu a tu ritual y la ceremonia eh, en el futuro. Sí, sé que vienen a, a México, al tour. 
hacer este, este camino. Y me da mucho gusto los que van a venir al tour ahora. Ya tenemos varios grupos que están formando. Y a Curia Mate. He says that he is um, excited that you're excited about the trip and the, the Mexico's um, they're doing in Mexico. He has other groups that are going to be doing these things as well at other times as well. And um, a Curia Mate. <laughs> Um, the, the last thing that I would bring up is that I'm, I'm going to allow Terry to speak and you don't have to do that part, but I'm going to allow Terry to ask uh, questions and Don is going to translate. I'm going to give my voice a rest today. Um, I did want to give the greeting of excitement that we all met at the conference. Don was there, Lupe was there, Marvel was there, and Ketza was there. And, um... <laughs> Not Terry, but Terry will be next time, and Terry will be there in February. But the, she was there spiritually. She mm -hmm. sure was, and that um, just immediately upon seeing him, I was just moved already, and I was like, um, you know, we talked about the jewelry, but then I said, D "Is that my prayer? Did you have a prayer for me?" Because he gave me a blessing. But then, since I said, is that my prayer, he he put his hands out, and I was like, oh, my God, like, give it to me. So I was just, like, so excited. I was like, give it to me. I want all of it. I want it. So, but I was just so excited, and I just wanted to share that part before we get started. And everybody can, you know, just go back and forth about meeting him and what they got from it, and then asking him the questions that you want to ask. And I'm going to remain silent after that. <laughs> Okay, ella tiene dificultad hoy con su voz, así que ella dice que Terry eh, va a hacer sus preguntas, las preguntas que ella tenía. Eh, ella dice que cuando te vio en la conferencia, eh, que ella estaba hablando contigo con el jury de ella, las cosas que ella crea, eh, y que le, le diste es un healing, y ella estaba muy emocionada y muy feliz que, que eso pasó. Ella también quiere que cada uno de nosotros que estuvimos en la conferencia eh, hablemos de la experiencia que tuvimos con usted. No, pues me da gusto que compartir la medicina, ¿no? Mi medicina eh, y poder compartir con cada uno y escuchar hoy sus experiencias. Pues para mí también, eh, pues es un placer, ¿no? Saber que, que la medicina del espíritu se activa, funciona, eh, y en cada persona se manifiesta algo, ¿no? Obviamente, las personas no están acostumbradas eh, a ciertos movimientos, ¿no? Cuando las tocas o la forma de cómo libero. Y es extraño, pero pues la energía se mueve de muchas formas, ¿no? Y qué gusto que íbamos a hablar de, de este tema. Lupe, you wanna y, y, gra y, gracias, y gracias por hoy traducir, ¿eh? Ya ves que te estoy persiguiendo, <risa> insistiendo, oye, traduce. Otra vez, sí. No, gracias, no, de antemano. Gracias a ti. Okay, so Las he's... galácticas, ¿no? Sí. <risa> he says that he's excited um, as well. And uh, it's like a medicine, a healing medicine. And he's excited to share Um, what we also experience with him as uh, the energies um, just work their ways around us, each one of us. And he's he also says thank you for translating for him, even though I feel like Lupe would do better. So I think maybe since she's on right now, let her take over for a little bit and then I'll, I'll slip in later. Okay, Ketza. Um, Lupe va a seguir la, tra la traducción porque ella lo hace mejor que yo y ella, como se tiene que ir más temprano, yo seguiré después de ella. Okay, gracias. De nada. Hola, ¿cómo está? 
Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Bien, qué gusto. Ya que no tuve la oportunidad de participar contigo el día de la conferencia, no, hoy, hoy es una sorpresa verte y, y qué bueno. Gracias. Personalmente le quería agradecer por la sanación que me hizo este día. Este, me ha cambiado bastante, bastante. No, bueno, me hubiera encantado que hubieras participado en la conferencia, pero las cosas al final... Se dieron la de otro modo. se mueve, ¿no? Uh -huh. Yo creo que cuando las cosas se mueven, pues son así. Sí. Ya habrán otros tiempos para hacer muchas cosas más. Sí, sí, sí. Ya sí, luego sí. no me vas a soportar, ¿eh? Ok. <risa> sí. Sí, qué bueno. Este, no sé si tienen una lista de preguntas o cómo es lo que, lo, cómo seguimos la, la entrevista. ¿Yo? Uh -huh. No, pues yo no sé. <laughs> yo, yo tampoco puedo. Uh -huh. ex, okay, so he's thanking her and surprised that she's come along because she was going to be the original translator at the conference. And she also had a very powerful experience with him when she met him. And, and he also gave her a healing. So he's excited that she's also going to be sharing that here with us as well today. Um, and... I explained that she's going to be taking over the translating now until I come in later. And so, yeah. So, so what are we going to do right now? We're going to, what are we going to ask Ketza regarding our experiences or? Well, the yeah. first thing I wanted to do was allow Stephanie, well, we're going to go through and everyone share their experiences. So starting with Stephanie and then mm -hmm. Don, and then you, because you had a powerful experience, I wanted you to finish and let us know what your experience was. Mm -hmm. so if Stephanie can go ahead and share her experience and then you can share it with him, Don can share her experience and then you, and then go into asking him exactly like, well, the questions that Terry had, Terry, I think you started with like where his journey started in a way, because you, you know, his journey. So that's mm -hmm. how we were going to formulate the next portion of this. Okay. So, Stephanie. That's uh, nice to see you again. Um, it's oh. such a privilege and honor to have you with us today. Thank you. Um, I just want to share a little bit about my experience with you, which was amazing. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be right next to you when that whole long line uh, started <laughs> to... Uh, be created after you started giving people all these blessings and Asha was so kind to let me cut in line since I was watching my booth uh, to receive a healing from you or a blessing from you and um, Ketza put his hand on my eye my third eye and I remember afterwards I had to go sit down because I felt like I shot up at least five maybe even 10 dimensions <laughs> in that one one single setting so um i had to go sit down and really focus on grounding the energies in but um since that time i've really been inundated with all these incredible experiences i remember that night i was hearing this very loud ringing sound in my ear it was extremely loud and i was seeing all these geom geometry patterns and i kept seeing these beings faces appearing in front of me and i was like who are all these beings and i was wondering if it was actually people i met during the day at the conference but now all of a sudden in dream time it's like they're coming to me Stephanie, uh, did this happen after the uh, after the blessing? This experience yes. happened after the blessing. That yes. when you said this night, did it happen that night after the blessing? Yes. When you started hearing the. Uh, yes, and the I saw patterns? these ge geometrical patterns and shapes, and um, it. I've been inundated with so much information. Yes, Erica. Yes. Can Did I translate you, now for for? Yeah, that's a lot. Dude, dude, okay, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Ya, yeah. uh, Ketza. Ketza. Este, sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, Stephanie está diciendo que, por, primero, muchas gracias por la sanación y, este, y que ella estuvo eh, privilegiada de haber estado sentada cerca de usted cuando estaba haciendo las sanaciones. Y gracias a Asha, que pues le ayudó a que cortara en línea para que le hiciera una sanación por, debido a que ella estaba cuidando su mercancía. Dice, dice Stephanie que el, el, cuando usted le puso su, su mano en su frente, en su tercer ojo, ella sintió que se elevó su frecuencia varias densidades. Y también dice que este, esa noche ella escuchó en su oído un sonido bastante fuerte y que empezó a ver como, con sus ojos cerrados, comenzó a ver geometría sagrada y, este, y dice que también como flachazos de personas, como de imágenes. Entonces, este, ella le gustaría saber si se debe a la sanación o se debe a la energía que había en, en la conferencia en ese momento. Bueno, primeramente, pues sí, ella es... El, uno de los principales testimonios porque la tenía ahí enfrente uh -huh. y, y bueno pues así empezó el proceso de esta curación cuando curamos con el alma cuando traemos la medicina y la compartimos ya sea a través de un tocamiento, sea a través de un sonido, se activan muchas frecuencias. En esta tridimensión, cuando tú utilizas la frecuencia del momento, abres muchos canales, ¿no? Entonces, obviamente se abrieron muchos canales. En esta conferencia, pues se abrió un portal dimensional. Uh -huh. Todo este trabajo de curación, pues fue parte de esta activación del portal eh, Acuria Mate. Okay. Um, estas, the... estas imágenes y esta experiencia que ella tiene, pues sí, obviamente a las personas que yo fui tocando, pues traían un código. Entonces yo activaba un código en cada uno de ellos. Le, le mi, déjele, tradu, déjele traduzco esta parte. <laughs> okay. okay, Stephanie, Ketza is saying that um, regarding you hearing the sound and seeing the geometric figures and the shapes, it's because everybody that was there when he did the, the healing work had a code in you. You had a code in you. Everybody had a code. So what he did, he, um, he activated every code on us. And that's what you're, you're, you were feeling. He also utilized the uh, frequency, the high frequency that was in the conference to begin with. Entonces, nuestra medicina en Maya sería en la Kesh. Yo soy tú. Okay. In la okay. okay, and I, oh, I was going to say it in Spanish. <laughs> uh, in the, in the uh, Mayan medicine, there's a word called el aquesh. ¿Quiere decir qué, perdón? Yo soy tú y tú eres yo. Okay. Uh, it, it means you are you and I am I. ¿Y esto qué quiere decir? Yo soy tu curación y tú eres mi curación. This means you are my, my, my healing and you are my healing and, and you are my healing and I am your healing. I am your healing, yes. I am you and you are me. Ah, yes. Y en Nahuatl sería claque nahuaque. Claque nahuaque. Que en Nahuatl, que sería cerca junto. Cerca junto. Cerca junto. ¿Esto qué quiere decir? Cerca de mi curación junto a tu espíritu. Ok, hold on, let me translate it. So, there's a, a word in, in Nahual que es claque uh, mate. Claque nahuaque. Claque nahuate. Nahuate. Nahuaque. 
Nahuacle. Cerca a tú, cerca a ti. Cerca, junto. Cerca, junto. It means, cerca, uh, junto. Close together. Close together. Cerca, junto. ¿Y luego qué más dijo Ketza después de eso? Cerca, junto. Ajá. Cerca de tu espíritu. Close together. Junto. Close to your, your spirit. O sea, soy la sanación de tu espíritu. I am the healing of your spirit. Entonces, traducción. Si somos un inlakesh y un claque nahuaque, somos la sanación de la humanidad. Okay. The translation of, of um, the words he just mentioned. It's that we are together, we are the healing for humanity. Beautiful. And Stephanie, did you have more part of the, what revelation you came to? Um, well, since then, I'm just inundated all the time. <laughs> I mean, I'm having magical experiences every day. And I just want to thank him for his beautiful gift that um, he's shared with me and everybody else at the conference. And um, I look forward to meeting him in uh, February <laughs> of next year. Quetzal, dice, dice Stephanie que en primer lugar le agradece y, este, y que desde el momento que usted le hizo la sanación, desde que estar ahí en la conferencia, ella ha vivido momentos maravillosos y bastante especiales. Um, ella ha sentido su frecuencia se elevó definitivamente por lo que menciona y este y dice que este, espera en, en este estar con usted en febrero. Muy bien. Ajá. Ajá. Será, un placer. Será un placer compartir con ustedes. Que eso sea, it was a pleasure to be around us. El placer es de nosotros. Our pleasure. And for Don, you, did you have an experience as well? Um, yo sí. Okay, so, ella, Erika me está preguntando mi experiencia. So, ahora voy a hablar del, de la mía. Um, yo no recibí el blessing porque no lo pedí. Solo estuve ahí o, o, o observando y mirando y, y presente. Pero... Aunque yo, o sea, no me pusiste la mano y, o, o eso, todavía recibí y sentí mucho. Um, sentí que me, mi cabeza estaba floteando en, <ríe> en el aire. Y más fuerte también cuando estuvo, estuvimos adentro de la conferencia y deciste, dijiste la palabra Acuria Mate tres veces. Y después de eso... Eh, por mucho tiempo, por muchos días, eh, yo y varias personas eh, sentimos eh, algo y, y algo bonito, mucha, muchos momentos emocionales, eh, re release, este, soltando llantos, eh, risas, conexiones con mis guides que no, no tenía antes. Y cuando me diste el dije, o, me, o lo escogí, el dije de la, de la mesa de Stephanie, eh, el dije era perfecto para mí. Eh, solo sabía que el, el, el solar, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Se dice? The solar, uh, my, the, the necklace that I got from him that was on Stephanie's table, the one that I chose, mm -hmm. um, was the one perfect for me. Um, let, I'll finish with him and then I'll translate for you guys. El dije ya eh, se me rompió cuando estaba conectándome con mi um, un guy, una abuela pasada mía que se me ha olvidado y, y no tenía una conexión con ella. So yo pienso que el dije y lo que pasó fue algo muy fuerte que ayudó um, a darme esa conexión otra vez que me faltaba por mucho tiempo. So. Así es. 
Y okay, te regresé en, en inglés. Lo voy a explicar en inglés para el resto. Ok, so, when I was at the conference, I didn't receive a blessing from him, you know, per, uh, personally. He didn't put his hands on me. But even though he didn't do that, what he was doing there, I was still feeling very strongly. Especially when inside the conference, he said the words Akuria Mate three times. And um, ever since that moment, for several days, even weeks after, you know, I was feeling all kinds of things emotionally. I was crying, releasing tears, releasing happiness, uh, joy. Um, I had picked a necklace from that he, you know, Stephanie was so kind to allow him to add to her, to her table for him to, to sell. And I picked the perfect um, necklace for, for myself. And I used that necklace when I was at home, when I was praying to a great grandmother of mine that I had lost connection with and forgotten about for a very long time. And as I was doing this prayer with my great grandmother, the, the, thing broke right like at the neck part which was crazy because I feel like maybe it was some some kind of familial uh, thing that was broken that was that allowed the communication between me and her to be to happen again so I'm getting a little bit emotional about it again right now because <laughs> it was a uh, special pero bueno aunque no te tocó el alma no Mucho. El alma y, y ahí estamos, ¿no? Dentro de la frecuencia y que la frecuencia no solamente es ese momento, sino es continuamos, ¿no? Por eso estamos hablando en este momento de las experiencias, porque no han terminado. Estamos en la elevación, estamos en la nave del movimiento y la vibración. He says that even though I didn't, you know, receive it then by physical hand of his or anything, he says that that happened because you felt the energy. Everyone was there with their energy. The energy was there and that we're all on a ship elevating, still um, elevating Hi. higher. And yeah. Say it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I said that we're still climbing the uh, the density, the frequencies, the frequencies. We, we got activated. That's what happened. Yes. And that we're still feeling that right right now. We're still going through it. Yeah, we're not done with it. No, we're not. Es como un eclipse o un solsticio que vemos el eclipse y creemos que ya pasó el eclipse. Y ya no, pensamos que ese momento se dio el eclipse solar, lunar, y ya terminó ahí. Y no, la resonancia y la continuación vibratoria continúa. Entonces nosotros estamos en una activación. Acuria Mate es una activación. Y esa activación no es que ya terminó sino es una activación que va a perdurar por mucho tiempo. Uh, Ketza is saying that um, he compares the uh, what happened to us with the frequencies in the conference. He compares this to um, like a lunar eclipse or a, a or or a um, solstice. And in the in the reference that we think that it's just it's done when it's done when the eclipse is done. No. The tr in truth is that the uh, the resonance of the eclipse continues for for different days after, and is the same thing that it's happening with us. We continue to climb the the frequencies uh, as we got activated when we were present there, feeling the frequencies in person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Lupe, you had your own experience, or or. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. And I will yeah. let you um, okay. move forward. Mi experiencia con usted, Ketza, cuando me hizo la sanación, um, 
no sé si fue la primera, parece que sí fue la primera persona que le hizo la, la, la sanación. El, el Oye, día que de nos... Sí, fui la primera, no. el día que nos... Ajá. Ah, y ya después de, mí se empezó, se, después de mí se le empezó a juntar la gente, ¿verdad? Exacto. Sí. Fuiste la punta de lanza. Sí, 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 sí lo noté. Este, no sé, el, cuando usted se paró en la mesa con Asha, algo dentro de mí me dijo, pregúntale que te dé una sanación, ¿no? Algo muy, algo muy dentro de mí lo sentí. Fue cuando le pregunté, le, le, le hice la pregunta que si me hacía una sanación. Usted me dijo que sí. Y este, cuando usted bajó su mano hacia, hacia mi corazón, sentí como que, como si hubiera sido un imán y sentí el, en mi corazón como que fue jalado, así como pum, sentí la, la palpitación. Y después sentí como algo caliente, caliente, como una energía muy caliente que me bajó a los pies y luego subió hacia arriba. Cuando usted mencionó algo así, no me, no, es que todo pasó tan rápido y tan emocionante que no me acuerdo, pero cuando usted mencionó que dejara ir el pasado, sentí que quise llorar, como que quise gritar de, de llorar. Y sí, sí he cambiado bastante. Me siento ahora mucho más fuerte de lo que creía que era antes. Um, tengo muy clara mi misión y me siento imparable. <ríe> me siento imparable desde que usted lo hizo. Ah, y preciso con el, el dije, cuando escogí el dije, este, y lo volteé y se lo mostré a usted para decirle, preguntarle su significado. Este, lo, lo curioso es de que decía la fecha de febrero y no sé si se acuerda que le mencioné que yo nací en febrero. Entonces dije, wow, y me acuerdo que estaban los dijes en, el, en la mesa y yo puse mi mano sobre, la, sobre los dijes y fue cuando me dirigí a exactamente ese dije y lo tomé de la mesa y fue cuando lo volteé y decía febrero. En inglés no. Oh, sorry, sorry. So, my, my experience with Kesta was really powerful. I was the first one that he did the blessing. Um, they, they, he did the, perform the blessings. Um, I told him that a day when he was standing by the, uh, by the table and something strongly in me said, um, told me, ask him for a blessing or, or ask for something, right? And, and I did. I asked him if he could do a blessing for me. He was gracious enough to say yes. And he uh, gave me the blessing. So when I felt his his hand come near my heart chakra, I told him that I felt like it was like, like my heart was getting pulled. I felt the palpitation just go boom, like my heart, I just beat hard. And then I felt this warm sensation going through my body, first through the floor and then up upwards, especially when he mentioned, mentioned in, in the blessing that to let, it's time for me to let go of the past. I felt the sensation of crying. I don't know if you noticed that you were you were there. <laughs> I was present when it this was... happened, so I did see. I saw it in my in third person view when she got emotional and that happened. Yes. Yeah, I felt like bursting tears, but not of, of happy tears. I, I have to say, some something in me just broke, and um, I told Getza that afterwards, after the conference, after the blessing, I feel very powerful. I feel that I came, I came into my power. I'm very focused on my mission. I, I'm, I know what my mission is and, and I feel unstoppable. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't feel fearful. I, before, the, before the conference, I did felt a little bit of fear here and there because of the situation around the world and everything. But afterwards, I, I, I came into my position. I know who I am. I know where I come from. I just feel powerful and, and I thank him for activating, helping me activate that part of me. I remember the words that he told you. You <laughs> did? Yes. Right yeah. before we started, he put his hand on her forehead, and I think the other one was on her back, I'm not sure. And he says, I'm here to remind you of the goddess that you are. Yes, he, he did. And I, got, I even got emotional for her when he said that. I, I have this really big connection with Luz that... I can't explain yet. I know we're probably we stuck. recognize each other. The yeah. minute that I was standing there in the hall and you walked by with Crystal and we're like, Don, loop it. <laughs> and we hugged. I felt that I recognized you. Yeah. I love you, my sister. I love you too. 
explain to him uh, the words that he just said then. So he remembers that because those were the very first words that he said to you. Oh, about um, that he was here to remind me about being uh, being um, a goddess, right? Que esa, este, no, me, no me acordaba de este detalle, pero Don lo acaba de, 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 de recordar porque yo estaba parada a un lado cuando usted me dijo, me estaba haciendo la sanación y me, me dijo que estaba usted ahí para recordarme de que, de que era una diosa. Y este, de la diosa que tú eres. Ajá, la, la diosa que... Se le olvidó que era diosa. Yo, <risa> pero fue en el momento que usted me puso la, la mano en el corazón. Y fue cuando yo sentí esa sensación de como si su mano hubiera sido un imán y sentí eh, la palpitación en mi corazón y luego esa sensación de electricidad y esas ganas de llorar, como que algo se rompió. Sentí que algo ahí se rompió y como un sí. pollito que acaba de nacer y, y, y nació <risa> y, y, y me siento... De, de estos días para acá, me siento tan segura de mí misma, me siento tan segura de quién soy, de quién, qué vine a hacer. Uh, muchas gracias, no tengo otras palabras más que decirle. Muchas qué, gracias. Qué bueno. Mira, eh, nosotros, o sea, somos la niña, la mujer y la diosa. Normalmente, we are the, the we are the the we are the the you say la niña la niña you are the we are the girl we are the women and we are the guys y y de pronto de la niña nos convertimos en la mujer y nos olvidamos de la diosa y pasa oh. toda la vida o esta vida mm -hmm. Y nunca volvemos a encontrar a la diosa. La diosa la dejamos perdida. Y esa diosa es la que tiene que despertar para que entonces pueda resplandecer la esencia. Entonces es muy diferente ser mujer a ser diosa. Okay, the saying is very different from okay. We are from from being the girl, the woman, and the goddess. And most of the time in this in this lifetime, we forget to be the goddess. So, so we need to remember to be the goddess because when we remember to be the goddess, then we can actually connect to our true essence. It's like it's going through the process of life. We go through the process as a little girl, leaving the goddess behind. Mm -hmm. Becoming a woman, but then becoming a woman is not the same as being the goddess. As, as being the goddess. And we forget, to, he says that we forget in this, we tend to forget in this lifetime that we're goddesses. Y esa, so, y esa diosa que representa la confianza, la fuerza, la fortaleza. Esa okay. es la diosa. The goddess represents the uh, confidence we have in ourselves and the, um, the fortitude we have in ourselves. Entonces, esta sensación que tú sentiste. So the sensation that morir, I had. Morir de la mujer enferma y nacer a la diosa viva. Okay. The sensation that I had what represented, um, there was the sensation that I have a warmness in, in, in my body. Representing, represented me dying as a woman and being reborn as the goddess. Por eso es que en un instante, como la, la curación que hicimos, mm -hmm. funciona. Porque es un instante el cambio. El cambio, han pasado milenios de años para hoy reconocerte como mujer, para reconocerte como diosa. Y lo mismo el hombre, ¿no? Para reconocerse como Dios, tiene un proceso. Entonces, este segundo de sanación en cada una de ustedes, en cada una de las personas que estuvieron presentes, tenía un código, una información y una vieja energía que dejar y liberar. 
Okay. That second that he did the blessing for all of us had a, a, a code that got activated and that it took millennia for us to get there, to be the God, to be the goddesses, to remember who we were. So what he did was just work, wake up the code in us. And that's why we're feeling all these um, higher frequencies too. Por eso cada momento de nuestra vida es muy importante. Porque si lo vives con magia, entonces comprendes la existencia. Si that's lo vives why, en oh, That's why every moment of our lives is extremely important because if we live it with if we live our lives with magic. ¿Me puede decir lo demás, por favor? Porque si lo vives en tristeza, entonces tu vida Nunca tendrá un cambio, que te quedarás atorado. If you always go through life living in, in unhappiness, you're never going to have a change. You're always going to be stuck in the same pace. But Está if you leave it with, with magic, you are going to have uh, beautiful changes in you, beautiful changes in your frequency. Y esto es lo que te puedo decir con tu experiencia, de esa sensación que sentiste que se fue a los pies, y lo que surgió y el chip energético que te ha ido pasando, ¿no? Y que te va a seguir pasando más cosas a cada una de ustedes. Al igual que Stephanie, me estaba escribiendo a mí también, ese, este, también he visto, este, yo he estado viendo mucho la figura de una, de una mujer cuando, eh, tendí los sueños más bien dicho con la figura de una mujer. Uh, bastante alta, delgada, tiene alas, tiene un traje plateado muy brilloso, el pelo largo, 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 blanco, 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 ojos grandes, azulados. La he estado soñando mucho, mucho, mucho. Este, no me acuerdo de las conversaciones, pero siento que es algo muy positivo. Uh, también este, Don hace poco me hizo una sanación con el DEMS, la máquina DEMS a distancia. Y también vi lo mismo al, al estar acostada mientras ella me estaba san, haciendo la sanación a distancia. Estaba viendo muchas geometrías, lo que le voy a llamar geometría sagrada. Estaba viendo mucha geometría sagrada, muchos colores, muchos, muchos colores. A la misma vez estaba viendo el rostro de esa mujer. Y lo mismo sentía así, esas, esas sensaciones como de, como de vibrar, como, como de estar como metida en, como algo electrificante. Lo mismo estaba sintiendo en el momento que ella me estaba haciendo la la sanación este, a distancia. Y le digo que he estado teniendo muchos, esos sueños con esa mujer y, y mi corazón me dice que soy yo, soy mi, mi yo superior <risa> con esa mujer que estoy viendo. Uh -huh. Pero ha sido muy positivo desde, 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 ese día, desde ese día en la conferencia. He, he sentido mucho los cambios en mí, Uh, las personas que ha traído más a mi entorno son personas mucho más positivas, me han pasado cosas muy positivas. Um, mi salud ha mejorado bastante, bastante desde, desde ese momento, porque el día que yo estaba en la, en la conferencia, cuando fui, no estaba muy bien de salud. Uh, yo pensé que hasta no iba ahí, no iba a poder participar en la, o ir a la conferencia porque no estaba bien. Pero después de ahí, eh, eh, me volví a parar. Me siento otra, soy, soy otra. Siento que toqué lo que realmente soy. No sé si lo, lo estoy diciendo bien con palabras. Uh -huh. Y otra vez le, le, le repito, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Yeah, if you want to. <laughs> if you want to. Yeah, she's, she's really excited and happy about it. She's been having she had a dream of this beautiful woman with wings like tucked in wearing a very shiny silvery suit with really long long hair like all the way down to her to her butt and she feels this and this happened after Ketsa's um healing at the conference she feels that this is her higher self like there's a connection in that this is her higher self what she looks like um as her higher self and since he gave her this this healing she wasn't doing so well when she was at the conference health wise that she has been you know she has gotten so much better and that she's a completely different person she's very empowered now very in control 
of things that she she felt she wasn't really in control of before and more dreams had come along because I had also given her uh, a healing using the dreams device so she was very she she could feel where I was even though I was doing the dreams device you know she's in her state I'm on the other side of the of the United States and I don't know if we want to talk about where we are but um, I used the dreams device on her and she she's been making a lot of connections and she's very grateful to Ketsa, she says. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she also bought uh, the necklace. She also had one of the necklaces um, yeah. as well. And the one that she ended up picking was the one that was on the month of her birthday, February. Oh, look, Stephanie's wearing hers. Yeah, put it closer, yeah. So cute. Let me um, take it off mute so I can... Yeah, this yeah. was Ketza's that he made. There was only 10 of them. So if you got one, you're very lucky. You got lucky, yeah. yeah. Oh, Terry got one. I gave her one since she wasn't able to be there. Show yours, unmute yourself and show yours, Terry, so people can see the beautiful, beautiful. Okay. This, is, this is the one that Stephanie was so sweet and kind and i appreciate that she sent this to me so thank you beautiful oh ya veo la colección <laughs> <laughs> so i think now everyone shared what they their experience with ketza terry didn't get to spend time with him even though she got the beautiful necklace but she will today um, do the introduction and ask her questions. Um, how are we doing for time, everyone? I'm um, good on time. Okay. And I did also want to ask before we start with the questions, because this is a great time to ask this. Since Terry was not at the conference, but knew that things were going on or anything i'm i'm really curious if she saw or felt some difference in things around her like before the conference to after the conference i guess like just planetary i'm not sure but because i feel like know, say? do you want me to tell them in spanish or Oh, I tell him in Spanish, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Que esa, uh, Don está diciendo que, que la quieren introducir ahorita a, a, a Terry. Y Terry tiene unas preguntas para usted, aunque, aunque Terry no estuvo en la conferencia. Entonces, Don, le, uh, se le acaba de ocurrir la idea de preguntarle a, a Terry este, que si ella ha notado una diferencia de, después de la conferencia, aunque ella no estuvo presente en la conferencia. Uh -huh. So, Terry... Okay, so um, to answer your question, um, I, I did experience, because we couldn't make it down, I spent time with Jonathan, and we had um, experiences with the land. Um, we traveled to some places uh, that had vortexes, and we did some ceremonies. So... I am certain that the abilities came because of uh, what was happening with the conference. As if they held space, it, it, it held space in a whole other place mm -hmm. and staying connected with everyone. And Lupe, I guess, did you want to share that? Yeah. Um, que uh, Terry estaba mencionando que uh, um, poquito después de la conferencia parece que fue con una persona que se llama Jonathan y que estuvieron um, haciendo como rituales de frecuencia o uh, limpiando energéticamente y dice que sí sintió que su, su este, limpieza energética que estuvo haciendo fue aún más potente y ella piensa que se debió a, a, a lo, al portal o, o las frecuencias que se manejaron durante la conferencia. Seguramente que sí. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Ketza agrees with that, that it had to do with the boost that, uh, that the conference made. Mm -hmm. 
hizo un impacto mundial, ¿verdad? La conferencia hizo un impacto mundial, claro, a lo que tengo entendido. Claro, ya, digo, ya. imagínate para que se haya manifestado las naves sí. en el lugar, el nivel uh -huh. de vibración. Sí, yo estuve, yo estuve el jueves en la noche, antes de que, si sí, el jueves en la noche salía abajo donde estaba el, uh, donde estaba este, la alumbrada, y este, oh. y salí con mi hija de 12 años y vimos, los dos vimos y tengo grabado, yo grabé las, las naves, las luces que se veían. Sí, mm. pues, sí. Sí. Es, sí. Eh, es como, eh, son fechas claves, ¿no? Y sí. esta fecha fue una fecha clave energéticamente. Por eso los acontecimientos importantes se dan ciertas fechas, ¿no? Cada 52 mil años, cada 25 mil años, son los impactos que crean una nueva era, una nueva raza, un nuevo movimiento vibratorio. Y ahorita, en este tiempo, ese día se activa todo un movimiento que está continuando está continuando sí, 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 sí. Yeah, I, felt yeah, I, felt, I, well, not, I felt it and saw it within my family like they're they also like elevated even now they're still like elevating we're mm -hmm. closer together and for me mm -hmm. that's a really big deal Because my family is not that that connected, so I I really wanted to ask Terry that and kind of put this in there as well because it was to me I felt like it was it was definitely planetary and something really did happen big there. Yeah, the the Ketza was mentioning that uh, what Terry experienced with her with um, the what the work that she was doing with Jonathan is that uh, it's definitely be, got impacted by what happened in the conference because it's definitely the conference, what happened there energetically uh, was for the whole world, not just for the space we were at, right, Don? It happened through the whole world and it, and it happened in, uh, in a date, a specific date that, that meant a lot for, the, for, for frequency. So this, this, this can happen every, what he said, 25,000 years, 50,000 years, 2,000 years and 25,000 years, which I'm extremely curious about because my contact, Jonathan, that I lost uh, with would always do, do something with the number 25 and 52 and he would invert it and then put them together. So when you would invert or, or twist the numbers around, the numbers 25 turn into a key. Oh, I didn't know that. Pizza. Um, acabas de mencionar el, los números 52 mil años y, o 25 mil años. Bueno, yo tenía un amigo que era un contacto mío eh, muy especial que he perdido contacto con él, pero él muchas veces me mandaba el, el número 25 y mandaba videos del número 2 o el 5 floteando y virándose y ajuntándose y cuando cambias los números se vuelven en una llave en un key uh -huh. <laughs> sí so, son como eh, llaves de keys de activación wow exacto wow las Aquí. llaves álmicas las llaves yeah, álmicas yeah. que se van conectando. Soul keys. Mm -hmm. Soul keys. The soul mm -hmm. keys that they, they, they are con being connected. They connect to each other. Okay. Amazing. So, so Ketza, I have questions for you. But first, can you, para usted? Can you tell us this Primero journey de... that you are on. It did not start yesterday. You have been on this journey for most of your life. When, when did you realize your calling with regard to this process of ascension? Uh, este, Terry le está preguntando que este, está consciente que este, usted no comenzó ayer este, en, este, en este camino. Entonces ella le está preguntando que cuando usted sintió el llamado para, para trabajar en este proceso de ascensión. 
Uy, no, pues. Sería largo, ¿verdad? <risa> Imagínate, cuando tenía entre 7 a 9 años, yo siempre escuchaba un sonido muy particular, voces, y, y, y sonidos muy raros, ¿no? Déjale traduzco esta parte. So, Terry, Ketza is saying that when he was around six, seven years old, he started listening uh, or hearing this um, uh, special frequency in his ear. ¿Y tenía sonidos de qué, perdón? Y estos sonidos se presentaban todos los días en mi vida. Era como una, eh, como una sinfonía, pero muy rara, ¿no? Era así muy, muy extraña. Todos los días se me tapaban los oídos. So every day, sí. he, every day he had this symphony in his ears. Every day his ears felt clocked. Y así es como empieza mi camino. And that's how sonidos. his journey started with the, with the symphony he was hearing in his ears. Y mi sueño siempre subiendo a una nave, eh, siempre estando en otras, en otras ciudades, en otros planetas. He always had dreams of being on a ship, of being in other densities, in other dimensions, in other planets. Pero... Pues como eres un niño, la gente no te cree, ¿no? But since he was just a child, people did not believe him. Ni tienes la conciencia. Pero desde entonces es que así inicia mi camino. Mi caminar siempre fue a través de sonidos, a través de plumas, a través de, de, de los cambios. Eh, lluvia de estrellas, equinoccios, solsticios, eclipses, todos esos fenómenos que pasaban a través de mi crecimiento en la vida fue lo que me llevó a ir en, introduciéndome hacia adentro de mí, porque yo no sabía nada, no sabía, no, no me dejaban, eh, cuando yo me empiezo a interesar por por el comando Ashtar, por las naves, por toda esta información extraterrestre, siempre que yo quería leer un libro, yo me dormía. Siempre. Sea Metafísica, Connie Méndez, cualquier libro, la Biblia, eh, cualquier libro que yo quería leer espiritual, yo me dormía. Y yo no entendía por qué empezando a leer quedaba dormido. Porque llegaba ese sonido extraño y me ponía en un estado como zombie mm. y como que me dormía. Um. He says that he, he, um, he was always interested, but he had no idea what what's going on because being a kid, people did not believe him of his experiences. So he said that every time he tried to read a spiritual book or a, or a book regarding extraterrestrials, he always fell asleep, that he always felt the symphony or, or the sounds that he would hear in his ears. Um, and could you elaborate more, Don? Because he yeah. was alone. He would hear these sounds, I'm guessing the, the downloads that what we would call downloads, and he could never read a book, any book he tried to open, the Bible, spiritual or whatnot. He said he would just- He always fell asleep. He always fell asleep. Out. He felt like a zombie. <laughs> yeah. He said, yeah. Y entonces, en este, en, su, en este estado, es que empezaba a ver, a tener yeah. imágenes, So when he ver, was in state es... of, deje, deje, le, le, es que deje, le, le, le. Um, en este estado que él sentía de, de estar como dormido, es cuando él, él empezaba a tener imágenes. Y Pero es... en inglés. Spanish. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. So... I understand. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Um, 
very good Both thing. Spanish. So, so, so maybe, maybe, maybe you can sort of translate a little bit instead of such a long time. Maybe, maybe break it up and translate a little bit at a time instead of trying to yeah, so, so and, and, trying to translate a whole concept. Maybe. Okay, let, let's go back to when he was saying that every time he tried to read a book, spiritual books, extraterrestrial books, uh, topics about those um, spiritual and extraterrestrial, he always fell asleep and he always heard this frequency in his ears. So he said when he was in that state of being um, dreamlike, that's when he, he started to get visions, images. Right. Okay. Lo que está pasando en el presente. Deje, deje traduzco, deje traduzco esta and so he got the information that he, he was told that he had to write everything that was happening in the present. Porque mientras más investigues del pasado y te quieras ir al pasado, te estás perdiendo la frecuencia del presente eterno. Okay. Because la gente, Pierde su vida en el pasado. Okay. He said that he needed to write the, uh, the, the he was told that he needed to write the present as, as, the, as the present was happening because every time he tried to go journey back to the past, the, 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 the past was already in the past. And when people try to dig in or, or, or try to research the past, the past, um, the present um, gets lost. The present gets lost. It's in the importance of the presence of the present moment. Yes, the, the importance is in the present moment. Yeah, so they didn't want him to worry about anything that happened in the past because he had to worry about what, write about, about what the present now and what was going to continue happening from the moment on forward, yeah. Yes. Okay, so... All of his teachers, his instructions were from the higher dimensional beings. She's asking if all your teachers or instructors were from the, from, uh, oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm like out of it already. Uh, mm -hmm. Ketza, este, te, perdón, Terry está mencionando que si todos sus, sus, sus um, maestros o sus guías o quien recibe informaciones son de otros, son seres de otras dimensiones. Claro. Te digo, por eso te estoy contando la historia sí. de que todos estos sonidos que se presentaban eran las naves. Sí. Sí, Era el, el, comando, uh, el comando que, que me preparaba y no me dejaban leer libros para que recibiera la información y, y pudiera descodificar y codificar la historia de ciertos puntos del planeta. Yeah, he said absolutely. All the information he, he's, he got, it's from the higher beings. And that's why these higher beings didn't allow him to read all these books. So he can, so he will in the present be able to, to decode every, all the information that he was getting from them. When he says naves, what does he mean by Ships. the naves? The ships. 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 So he was on ships getting this information. No, ¿verdad que no estaba usted en, la, en el momento que usted sentía el ensueño? ¿Verdad que usted no estaba en las naves? ¿Usted solamente estaba recibiendo la información? No, no estaba en las naves. Estaba recibiendo la información. Yeah, he was just receiving después, the information. Después, he was not in the ships. Después subí a las naves y ahí empezó toda una preparación. Porque me tocaba la parte primeramente de Centroamérica y Sudamérica, la activación de, de las tribus de estos extraterrestres de América, que son aztecas, mayas, incas. Sí, uh, his work was mainly with uh, Central America and, and South America. And um, at first it was just the... Uh, the, the uh, it was just information he was getting from them. And then later on in life, it was with him being in the ships, in the ship, and he was getting prepared. He was being prepared by these beings to do the work he's doing now. 
porque es un código, es un código, eh, los puntos sagrados de América, en Nicaragua, Colombia, Perú, eh, México, hay puntos, Estados Unidos, Canadá, o sea, todo Norteamérica, Centroamérica y Sudamérica. There are different points in all America, all Central America, America, South America, there's certain points that have codes. Tiene codificación de tribus de otras galaxias. Yeah, all these points have codes from different, from different tribes from other galaxies. Por eso es que dejan las pirámides, dejan puntos estratégicos. That's the reason they left the pyramids and strategic points. Para mover la codificación de la nueva raza solar. They left these pyramids and, and strategic points so they could. Uh, ¿Puedes explicarlo de nuevo, por favor, para decodificar la nueva raza? La nueva raza solar. Yeah, esa, to nueva, to... esa nueva raza solar es lo que estamos viviendo ahorita en el presente. To bring forward the new solar race, which is what we're living or we're going through right now. Okay. Esa raza solar es la frecuencia de this esta new race, activación. This new solar race is the frequency. ¿La frecuencia de qué? De este nuevo tiempo. Is the, it, this new solar race is the frequency of this new time. That so, nice question. <laughs> Por eso es que pertenecemos a muchas tribus. And that's why we, we, we belong to very, okay, that's why we belong from, uh, we belong to different uh, tribes around the galaxy and also uh, elsewhere. And, oh my gosh. No, you're <laughs> good. You're good. <laughs> Am I doing? <laughs> what he said, he said, que por eso pertenecemos a muchas tribus, no? Y luego no me acuerdo, que esa no me acuerdo la otra parte. Que me... Pertenecemos a muchas tribus. Porque cada tribu, en cada monumento sagrado, dejó una información. We belong to different tribes because every tribe left a, a special information in this specific point. For this specific time. Wow. Y a través de que se unificaran todas estas codificaciones, se crearía una sola codificación de ascensión. So when this, when this codes mingle together, nodista. when this, this codes mingle together, it creates one singular uh, codification for the, to help with the ascension, for the ascension. So, I see. So, I, so the different points in, well, I live in Canada, but in, in the United States and Canada, he, he has said in the past that there are places that are awakening. How, um, how are people called to assist in awakening um, the energies within the land? to help with this process. Terry, uh, este, uh, Terry está preguntando que cómo es de que las personas pueden ayudar a, a, este, a despertar estos diferentes puntos energéticos de los que usted está mencionando. Bueno, pues este, sí hay una secuencia. Lo que sucede es que traemos prisa. O sea, así como cada día vamos al supermercado y traemos, vamos manejando y traemos prisa. El mundo espiritual no es así. El mundo espiritual es no problem. Are you saying that, uh, that most of us here 
have this uh, or are accustomed to this need of doing things on a hurry, but the spiritual the, the spiritual side of things, it's not like that at all. The spiritual side of things is it's it goes with the flow, it goes more with the energy. Como, como vamos a, a, des, a, a reactivar? Como vamos Are we going to reactivate? Como vamos a recodificar? Are we going to re re um, reactivate? La, la información. The information? Si estamos ansiosos. If we are anxious. How are we going to si do that? Si estamos preocupados por la if humanidad. We're, if we're worried for humanity. Tenemos muchas preocupaciones. We have a lot of uh, worries. Con nuestro trabajo, nuestra familia. With our work, with our family. Y queremos que la espiritualidad también traiga prisa. And we reflect the same, the same to the spiritual work. Y no. And it la doesn't work. La espiritualidad es en el momento. And the spirituality is in the moment, not, así, not on a rush. Así como la conferencia, just like in the conference, cambió la vida de muchas personas. For an instance, the life of, 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 of people change. Pues lo mismo va a suceder con este cambio. Well, hay the muchas same thing formas, is going to happen with this change. Hay muchas formas para participar, para there's que a, se activen todos estos códigos. There's a lot of forms that we can participate, so these codes can activate. Pero no se trata de un libro religioso. But it's not no like a religious book. No se trata de una receta de cocina. It's not, it's not, it's not like it's a, a, a cooking recipe. No se trata de evolucionar ahorita. No, um, it, it's, it's not about um, becoming involved just right now at the whim. Se trata de relajarnos. It's about us getting relaxed. De respirar. To breathe. De sentir la respiración. To y feel the, the breath and connect. ¿Cómo podemos ayudar How can a la we humanidad? Help humanity. Si estamos alterados. If we, if we are not in the space for it. If we, are, if we feel anxious. ¿Cómo podemos sanar a un ser humano? How si can we help ansioso? heal the, uh, another, uh, another human being if we feel anxious? ¿Cómo puedo compartir mi medicina extraterrestre? How can I share with, with, uh, with others my, my medicine, my extraterrestrial medicine? Si estoy preocupado por... It, if I'm worried, mi familia, for, los for my family, de mis hijos, for all the problems, uh, family mi problems, my, my wife, my husband's problems, de mis relaciones. Entonces, uh, por eso, por why. eso no funciona la espiritualidad. That's por why eso no spirituality doesn't work that way. Hay millones de sanadores en el mundo. There's millions of healers throughout the world. Hay millones de ideas espirituales en el mundo. Millions of, of, of ideas, of spiritual ideas throughout the world. Y, no, y, y nos metimos a todas las religiones, a todos los cultos. ¿Y, y qué hemos ganado? Confusión. And then we talk about all the religion, all the cause. What have we gained from it? Nothing but confusion. Y en este momento, in this estamos moment, en, en pandemia, estamos we're in, en guerra. In estamos, this moment, we're in war. We have a pandemic. Y estamos en una sociedad. And we're confundida. in a society that is, that is confused. Y la única forma de ayudar a la sociedad. The only nuevo, way to help society. Es no como conecto con los extraterrestres. It's not about how we connect with the ETs. Sino como estoy conectando con mi corazón. 
It's about how hace, I connect with my heart, with myself. Usted me hace una pregunta espiritual de qué, qué tiene que hacer y yo veo que primero tiene que, que curar su corazón. Uh, I'm seeing that you're asking me uh, about a spiritual, a spiritual question about what to do regarding the uh, helping the, the, the points to wake up, but I see in you that you need to cure your heart first. Entonces la pregunta sería, ¿cómo puedo curar mi corazón y so, hacer que mi alma se limpie? So the, the real question would be, how can I, what can I do to cure my health? In my heart. In my, in my heart. Para que de esta forma, entonces empecemos a ayudar a la humanidad. So by this form, we can actually start helping uh, humanity. Pero aún hay, aún hay muchos miedos. There's still a lot of uh, fears, doubts. Entonces vamos a limpiar nuestros miedos. So let's clean our, our let's clean our fears out. Para poder subir a esas naves. So we can so we can actually get on those ships. Esas naves están listas para ti. Those ships are ready for you. Pero si tu corazón no está but, limpio, no but if your subir. heart is but but if your heart is not clean, you're not going to be able to. Si tu to mente be. vive cuestionada, preguntando. If your no mind, subir. if your mind, oh, it's always asking, you know, why? Pero hay una secuencia but there's a spiritual, a spiritual para despertar a los gigantes. To wake up the, the giants. Porque esos gigantes traen una codificación importante. Because those giants come with a, with a very important codification. Para descodificar la información to decode de the, the information 33 tribus solares to decode the information 33 uh, solar tribes estas 33 codificaciones solares this 30 this 33 uh, solar codifications son las tribus que vinieron a la tierra They are the tribes that came to earth. Egyptians, Mayans, Mayans, Incas, Incas, Griegos, Greek, y todas las tribus de, de la tierra. And all the tribes from earth. Son las 33 tribus que They el Cristo, are the 33 tribes. Que el Cristo universal está esperando that the uh, universal Christ is waiting for para que esta humanidad so siga su transformación can continue the, its transformation Beautiful. entonces para yo ayudar a este mundo then for me in order for me to help this this world hoy me pregunto today I ask myself ¿Cuánto tengo para dar y cuánto how much do I have to give and how much estoy dispuesto a recibir? And how much I'm ready to receive. Ajo. Ajo. I think Stephanie has a question there. Oh, that was beautiful. I'm moved by all of this information. Um, it's interesting that he brought up uh, pyramids and uh, things like this, because after the conference, I actually went to Crystal River, Florida. And when I was uh, passing a uh, wild re life reserve in a boat, there was a mound there. And um, on top of this mound was a giant oak tree and from what they say they don't know who left the mound in this particular spot but um 
there has been traces of not only the Mayans, but also some tribes that are connected to Ohio that have been found in the area. But it's just interesting that he's bringing up uh, these particular spots because I definitely feel I ended up in a spot. And this particular mound was called Temple Mound. And um, they're still doing research on it. But on the very top is this giant oak tree. And it just blew me away. I, I just felt like I was in a special area. I did a lot of healing with the water while I was there, uh, fresh off, right after the conference. So it's just right. uh, it's beautiful to hear all before. this. Can we tell him that part before you go on? Yes, yeah. yes, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> go, you wanna do it, Loops? Lupe? Es que fue bastante. Uh, esta, esta Stephanie estaba diciendo que este, después de la conferencia fue a un lugar en, en, en la Florida, en Florida, y dice que hay un tipo de montecito donde este, tiene, tiene raíz o, o tiene raíces con mayas y también con tribus de, de aquí nativas de, de Estados Unidos, cerca de Ohio, y dice que ella pudo sentir esa frecuencia. Uh, que se elevó, eh, ella fue ahí a hacer un trabajo de sanación y ella pudo sentir esas frecuencias que estaban ahí. Y este dice que está este, emocionada por todo lo, lo que escuchó acerca de las pirámides, acerca de los puntos energéticos que las 33 uh, tribus solares dejaron en el planeta. Entonces, uh, su, su punto es este, de eso que ella experimentó en carne propia sobre lo que vio en ese montecito donde dice que ya pudo sentir esa energía. Stephanie, did you say that on the mound you saw the tree on top of the mound? Okay. Dice Stephanie que ella vio yes. el la es el mound montaña. Un montecito, es un montecito. Un montecito, un montecito, mm -hmm. pero con un árbol arriba del monte. Tú sabes que me estabas diciendo de una locación en Florida y he estado buscando y esta, esta es la tercera locación eh, y ella, la locación se llama Chris, donde de lo que Stephanie está hablando se llama Crystal River, Florida. En Spanish, how would you say Crystal River en Spanish? Río de cristal. El cristal de la Riviera, del, uh -huh. del río. Río de cristal. Ah, I, I like my expanglish. <laughs> <laughs> I like it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he wants to do something in Florida. He was trying to get me to find the location in Florida. So there was another, there were, there's been several places. I thought of the Everglades. Um, there was another place that started with a C where it's near like spring waters or something. Crystal I, River, Florida, and um, there's also Rainbow River. It's clear water. There's aquifers there that I think were a part of uh, ancient technology of Atlantis. So this water comes out crystal clear. You can see it down into the water. So you said feet. the name is Rainbow, Rainbow River? There's Rainbow River. There's Crystal River. Oh, and está, está el, 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 el río de cristal que se llama así y hay otro lugar que se llama este río de arco iris. Entonces, um, Stephanie dice que sintió como energías. Um, ¿Dice Atlantia? Atlant Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Atlantic. Que sintió energías este, como de Atlántida en el, en el lugar. Y bueno, retomando que, que debemos hacer este, la propuesta de que tenemos que activar muchos lugares. Hay que activar en Canadá, en, en todos los países que las personas estén listas para que organicemos ceremonias, conferencia, eh, realicemos eh, la activación de Acuria Mate, ¿no? O sea, yo soy incansable, ¿sabes? O sea, yo trabajo 
y tengo toda mi vida, o sea, yo tengo haciendo esto 35 años de mi vida y cuando yo digo es el momento de vamos a proyectar esto, es porque lo vamos a hacer y vamos a hacer que en Florida, en Miami, en Canadá, en donde sea, vamos a hacer la siembra de cristales y vamos a seguir activando el acuria mate porque hay un proceso. Por yeah, lo que me comentaba, we need to continue to activate the acuria mate and because there's a process that we need to follow. Por lo que me comentaba esta mujer de qué qué sigue o cómo puede ayudar, pues que organice una conferencia, que organice un evento para que hagamos una ceremonia y activemos. O sea, Terry, digamos, he's mentioning that when you ask what can you do, he said maybe you can you know, try to um, get a put a conference together or 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 a place so we can do a ceremony of of he's mentioned something about ceremony of of of, of burying crystal crystals. And there's there's a lot to do regarding uh, activating this all these places. Cuando no sé, pero lo importante es que tu corazón lo vibre y lo sienta. He doesn't know when, but he said that the, the importance that your heart feels it and, and vibrates with it. Para que la respuesta al poder ayudar a la gente le llegue. Esta mujer, no sé cómo se llama, Terry? va a soñar, va a soñar lo que tiene que hacer. Okay. He's, uh, Terry, this is for you. He says that you're going to dream what you have to do. In your dream, you're going to be told what to do, what you have to do in specifically. Are you hearing, Terry? Yeah, yes. I, yeah, it was just on. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. One, a couple of things. Before you say something, Terry, I want to say this. First off, Terry, I mean, I would like for you to find out about if you have a personal message. I don't know if you all are reading the notes in the chat. And find out if you have a personal message. I want to do a time check for folks to make sure we have enough time. And then I do want Terry to go ahead and ask the question about the hosting. Is, is hosting personal in your home or is it necessarily a conference? Because some people might want to host, right? But what does he mean by that when he says that? Uh, and it's I, not, uh, it's the Está Erika que está mencionando que well, qué es lo que qué es lo que quiere decir cuando usted menciona de de este si puede ooh. ser necesariamente una conferencia o ooh. puede ser un lugar como más privado o alguien que quiera quiera hacerlo por su propia cuenta y no necesariamente tenga fondos como para hacer una conferencia estilo como a donde fuimos entonces ella quiere algo más específico de a, a qué se refiere que qué se puede no, yo me refiero por ooh, ejemplo ooh, please hold on you all loops I was saying that because I want this part of the recording is going to be cut. You see, I want Terry to go ahead and ask her questions, and then you translate it, and then allow him to speak. Because okay, I dice que me that. espere porque quiere que Terry pregunte y luego lo porque lo va a cortar de la entrevista. Quiere que Terry pregunte y después usted lo lo contesta y después yo lo traduzco. Así así quiere. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So then my, my question is, you mentioned about um, hosting. How, what kind of hosting is this? Is like, it is a conference, but how would one go about to create something? And um, so it's becomes, um, do we get a group together? How how do you how how would would you come to that particular area? Is it just within the group itself? Um, how do you how do you foresee it? Terry, le está haciendo la pregunta de de cómo es de que podría usted trabajar pues con 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 personas que estuvieran interesadas. En, en, en hacer estos trabajos con los cristales de activación, si no es necesariamente una conferencia, si podría armar un grupo pequeño, si usted podría participar, ella dice que necesita información sobre cómo podría pasar. Sí, yo creo que lo importante, la gente que esté interesada, la gente que sienta el llamado 
the, the importance is the people that are interested, the, the people that have the calling. Eh, pues ya, ¿no? En cuanto la gente siente el llamado. The, that when excelente. people feel the calling. Realizamos una, una activación. We can actually work on an activation. Una siembra de cristal. We, uh, uh, an activation of Kuyamate, and we can also uh, do a, a ritual burning crystal. And it has to be in a place, in a point that has a specific vibration. Sean lagunes, mares, desiertos, glaciares. Desert, it could be a desert, it could be a, you know, a desert of the an, like ocean or glaciers. Como lo que ahorita comentaba esta chica. De, just, de like, just like what Stephanie commented about the place where she went. Places like that, similar like that. Entonces, bueno, pues ya una vez que estén las las personas que quieran participar, pues ya, ¿no? Se convoca, and, and once, you have se the, once you have the people that want to participate, you can go forward and, 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 um, and make arrangements to make it happen. Y, este, y las personas que no pueden estar físicamente, pues lo pueden hacer a través de, de Zoom o vemos, ¿no? La forma de que and, todos participen. And and perhaps people that cannot be there physically, maybe they can participate through Zoom. There's always ways to do this. Lo importante es traer el lenguaje a la tierra. The o important sea, el, is to bring the language to Earth. Es rescatar el, el lenguaje primigenio que está oculto para the, activar esta vibración. The important part is to rescue the primordial language that has been hidden to reactivate all these points. Que son las memorias milenarias. And these are actually the, the millennial, the memorial, the, the memories that are memorial through time. So the language is the memory. Our mm -hmm. memories is the language. That's amazing. <laughs> Por eso es que si hablamos con el Espíritu. That's why if we speak to the, to the Spirit. Entonces viene la resonancia. Then we have the resonance. Por eso es que el amor en That's la humanidad the, no fluye. That's why the love in humanity doesn't, doesn't flow. Porque no hay resonancia. Because there's no resonance espíritu. with the Spirit. El amor solo se conquista a través de la resonancia. The love is only conquered through resonance. ¿Y tu resonancia cuál es? And what is El your resonance? El cielo y la tierra. It's through the sky and the earth. Por eso, we should explain what that is to listeners that aren't aware of what Acuria Mate is. Por eso, si caminamos con los pies en el cielo. That's why we walk with our feet in the sky. Y nuestra cabeza en la tierra. And our head in the earth. Entonces nos convertimos en caminantes del cielo. Then we convert ourselves into, into skywalkers. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Indeed. Uh, <laughs> I, have, I have a quick question, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's uh, on other people's mind too. Tengo una pregunta muy rápida que hacer, y uh, hemos hablado de esto en, en el círculo acá. Eh, no sé si ha visto de los animales que están dando vuelta en círculos. Entonces, um, pues teníamos esa pregunta, si usted tenía pues, una idea. Uh, Yes. Precisamente te acabo de decir caminante del cielo. <laughs> el gran círculo. Es el mensaje. Es el caminante del cielo. So cuando caminan, yes. so we wanted to ask about why the, we wanted to ask why the animals are walking in circles yeah, and it's, asked, it's all over that. the earth that we've seen that. Yes. I asked him that and he said that's why he he 
he mentioned the part about being the skywalkers. It's walking in circles. They're giving us a message. Por ejemplo, este, este mensaje de los animales que caminan en círculo es obvio que es el super mensaje, ¿no? Pero como lo queremos ver con la mente razonante, por eso no podemos entender, porque queremos razonar todo. No, that's why we don't understand, like, like seeing these animals walking in circles. That's why we don't understand the message that they're giving to us, because we try to rationalize what they're doing when the message is simple and clear. They're showing us the way of walking or being skywalkers, mm -hmm. what he mentioned before. Entonces, estos animalitos, estos seres, nos están, están activando la codificación animal para el equilibrio de la activación de la energía de lo que viene. So these animals, lo what they're doing is walking fuerte. in circles and activating, and activating and decoding the certain points for the animal kingdom. Para el, el reino animal, ¿verdad? Están caminando en círculos para decodificar para el reino. Yeah. They're, they're working in circles to decode the, the, or activate for the animal kingdom for what's actually happening. Se están preparando por lo que, they're, por la activación que puede haber. They're getting ready. The planet for the war. They're getting ¿no? ready to, 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 they're getting ready to uh, do their part in this ascension. Where? Spiritual. Una guerra nuclear. Eh, Pues estamos ahí, ¿no? Estamos ahí. Por eso no debemos de, eh, pues digo, ser negativo, pero sí saber que, que, que está, está muy divertido el presente. That's what we, que we los should, animales we están reaccionando. The animals are reacting. No. Oh, le está diciendo que estaba traduciendo exacto lo que está diciendo. That los animales están reaccionando a lo que estamos viviendo, ¿verdad? Yeah, the animals are reacting to what we're going through right now, in these times. Porque no es que ellos están fuera del sistema. It's not like there are, the animals are outside the system. No. Tu, tu uña y tu your cabello. Nail, your hair. No está separado de tu espíritu. It's not separated from your spirit. Y no está separado de tu ADN galáctico. And you're not separated from your, your, your extraterrestrial um, DNA or your galactic DNA. Y no está separado del núcleo animal planetario. And you're not separated from the, um, the nucleus, the animal nucleus of this planet. Entonces, así como nosotros estamos activando una frecuencia Los animales están reaccionando también. And just like we are activating a frequency, the animals are reacting the same. They are activating a frequency. Y esa espiral. And, that, and, and them going in circles, like in a spiral. Que las, que las ovejas hicieron. That the lambs, the dos, animals are doing. Por 12 días. Uh, they did it 12 days. They did it 12 days straight. It's, Ustedes it's, it's, re recordarán ese video, ¿no? De esas ovejas que están dando vueltas, que están when they, filmando. When, yeah, when the lambs were doing it for 12 days straight, I don't know if you guys saw it, saw the, the, those clips that are going around, they were activating. They, uh, the number 12 is not a coincidence. Entonces, el lenguaje espiritual se está manifestando de muchas formas. The, the spiritual language is being manifested in different, in different forms. Por lo que viene. La gran sorpresa. Que For viene. what's about to come, the great surprise that we're about to, to see. Hay que estar en el centro. We need to be centered. Relajado. Relax. Observando. Observing. Okay. Ajo. Ajo. <laughs> How's everybody on time? You guys are gonna do more questions? How are you on time? A, a couple okay. more if we can. Mm -hmm. How about Ketza? Is he okay with time? Yes. ¿Cómo está usted con su tiempo, Ketza? ¿Está bien? ¿Quiere hacerle un par de preguntas más? 
Está bien. Pregúntame antes de que me arrepienta. <laughs> He's saying to us before he regrets it. <laughs> It's fine. He's doing fine. Okay, so Loops, how are you on time? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good for this. That's not a perfect question. I, I, need, I need a minute. You need a moment? Did you just, oh, okay, it looked like she froze for a second. <laughs> so, so in the meantime, because we answer, asked the question about the animals, I specifically had one question because I see new animals appearing and so many animals coming, literally coming to my door. What can people do to help aid the animals and how are the, you know, what other messages should we be expecting from the animals? Like some of us are being visited more by just strange animals, like unusual to where we live. Erica, um, esta Erica quiere saber qué, qué es lo que podemos hacer nosotros para ayudar a los animales o entender más los mensajes de los animales. Dice que uh, en estos últimos días ha sido visitada por más animales que vienen a su puerta. Y dice que también ha encontrado animales este, bastante raros. Entonces su pregunta, su pregunta, el punto de su pregunta es ¿qué es lo que uno puede hacer para ayudar a los animales y entender sus mensajes? Bueno, pues yo creo que nuestro tótem, nuestro tótem es nuestro nivel de poder. Habilitar a tótem, animal, it's our uh, animal of power. Y cuando descubres tu totem, and, we discover, and when you discover your totem, entonces tus palabras y tus emociones, then your words and your emotions, se integran, they integrate, a la frecuencia de esos animales, to the frequency of those animals. Tú recuerdas cuando antes la gente no era vegana. Do you remember a time when people were not vegan or that was kind of, that was unheard of? Y ahora hay mucha gente vegana. Now there's gente a lot of no vegan, carne. a lot of people that don't eat meat. La gente ha cambiado su forma de alimentarse. People have been changing the, the, the eh, form of, of, of consuming food. Digo, respeto a los carnívoros, es parte de... Says so this respect yeah. that he respects the, the people that are carnivore. It's part of our journey. Comen carne o no comen carne, no? He respects este, both the vegans and non-vegans. Pero, pero sí no? mm -hmm. But the respect for the animals is changing. Con toda esta gente que es vegana, los vegetarianos, la But gente all these people that are vegetarian, vegan. Los animales. That's pues the people that are the animals. Hay un movimiento mundial que está ayudando a los animales. That is helping the animals. Y yo creo que si trabajamos con nuestro totem, I nuestro animal de poder, totem, ayudaríamos our, uh, más. Our power of animal, our, uh, um, we're, we're going to be able to help out more oh, if we work with our totem. Ahora los que vengan al tour, seguramente les voy a dar su nombre de su totem sagrado. For the people that go to the tour with him, he's going to be able to give them their, their name, the name of their totem. Oh, my goodness. That's oh. So good. <laughs> <laughs> I already have four, but I can always use a, another one on the gang. <laughs> so, and for me, I only have two okay, more okay. questions. And, and hopefully it's not too much, you guys, but... No. I did want to ask about the turtle. No, the the four elephants on the back of the turtle. And then the other thing, the seven sisters of the Pleiades. Okay, hold on, hold on. She has, uh, personally, she has these questions about the turtle that has the... Um... Spanish, in Spanish. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know why I keep her in. Quiere, Erika quiere preguntar, perdón. Estás enamorada, Yo, ¿verdad? Estoy enamorada. Sí, estoy acá. Estás pensando. enamorada. <laughs> La tienes loca. No, yo sé, loca. No es fácil, yo sé, no es fácil traducir, ¿no? No, y, y es la primera vez que lo hago. Lo, estoy acostumbrada no. a hacerlo con mi mamá, pero es diferente. Ahorita es la primera vez que lo hago. No, y, y más temas tan... Eh, tan profundos, tan profundos. No, pues no es fácil, pero yo no, entiendo. No. 
Así sí, que no. tómate una Coca-Cola y o vea <risa> para que te equilibres. Te equilibres. Sí, dice, dice Erika que, este, que tiene estas preguntas personales. Y, y acerca sobre la tortuga que tiene a los animales encima de su, de su caparazón. Y también tenía la otra pregunta acerca de las siete hermanas de las Teyades. Bueno, cada pregunta le va a costar. <laughs> so every question is gonna cost you. <laughs> Let me know where we need to send the donations. Ay, no, mira. Que le haga claro. saber dónde quiere la donación. Dice. Mira. Eh, <risa> uh, ac, es tortuga. Tortuga, ya. Yeah. En maya es ac. En maya, el. el a, a, K. A, A, K. A, A, K. Ok, so I'm saying that in maya, the name of the turtle is ac, A, A, K. Ak, que es tortuga y la tortuga representa el guardián que guarda la información de la genética. The turtle represents the guardian that the guards the information for the genetic information. Y por eso existe la isla de la tortuga y existe and that's why eh, there's the, the island of, de la of tortuga. the uh, turtle. Por eso, para las tribus antiguas, es muy importante la tortuga. And that's es why la que for... guarda la información de la genética. And that's why for the uh, ancient tribes, the, the turtle is extremely important because it's, the, it's the, the one that guards the information, the genetic information. It's so be that makes so much sense because I think some people look at the story and they're like, oh, that's nonsense, you know, because they reference it, you know, and I said, no, every story has a meaning, just you just don't understand it yet. But so the turtle is the carrier of the genetics or the protector of the genetics. And then it's the four elephants, right? Don't four elephants sit on the back of the turtle? Está hablando acerca de los elefantes, de los elefantes. Dice que hay cuatro elefantes que están sentados a, arriba del caparazón de la tortuga. Que si eso tiene un significado. Sí, bueno, el elefante, sabes que es abundancia, que es el animal sagrado para. The elephant represents abundance. The sacred, uh, for certain tribes, the elephant represents, it's, it's sacred. Eh, aparte, es el que representa. La tierra y el cielo con la trompa, ¿no? Lo the que elephant is the one that represents the, the earth la, and, and la with its trunk it represents la the sky tierra y el cielo. and the connection to earth. Y a la the connection with earth and sky and y the abundance. A la, a la unidad, and the unity. La manada. Entonces, and the unity of la, the herd. Es la abundancia de la nueva codificación it means Donde the abundance of almacena, la it genética means the, espiritual. It means the abundance es el, es el of, of the new information. Es el mensaje. So the turtle. Es de, la, de, de, de la genética espiritual que se va a activar. Hay una nueva genética. Cuando termine todo este ciclo. When this, when this cycle is done with. It's Cuando finished. termine ahorita todo este ciclo. When all of this uh, is done, finished. Viene la gestación de un nuevo ser. Then the yeah, gestation for a new, a new being will come. Por eso es que tenemos que prepararnos. That's why we need to prepare. Nuestros totem de poder. Porque el totem animal de poder. Te va a llevar a que seas creador de espíritus en otras dimensiones. Our, okay, our, our personal animal totem is the one that's going to help you create. Uh, and connect. And connect with other densities, other dimensions. Porque nos enseñaron a tener una familia. 
because they taught us to have a, 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 a human family. Y ahora nos tenemos que preparar para crear nuestra familia de espíritu. And now we need to prepare to create our, our, our spiritual family. Que son los que te van a acompañar. And those are the ones that are going to accompany, accompany you after this is, after this happens, after we finish with the cycle. Life. This life. It's beautiful. Was there a part in between, Dawn, that you, I think it was something about this, this, the earth and the sky because of the trunk and the earth and the sky, and I don't also know. he said there's a connection. The elephant represents the connection between the earth and the sky with the it's trunk. Awesome. The trunk, when it goes up, it represents the, the connection with the sky. And the feet represent the connection with the earth. Oh, okay. But I wanted to clarify what Acuria Mate, in case some of your listeners don't understand or know what that, that is. Acuria Mate is a connection from the heavens or the skies to the earth, a, mm -hmm. an opening, a connection to it. Por, por eso, la tortuga y el elefante representan espiritualmente, nos están hablando de una nueva genética que tenemos que formar como espíritus. So the, basically bueno, the, the, the turtle and the elephant represent the new genetic that we need to form within ourselves after we're done with the, start, uh, with the cycle. Giving birth, gestation, birth to, okay. A new to being, the, right? It's a new being. A new, a new us, okay. New so us. Not, not really necessarily an external being, but us ourselves. Yes. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. Por, el, por eso el mensaje, esto que estoy diciendo, no es solo por la tortuga y el elefante, sino por el círculo de los animales que se está manifestando en diferentes partes del planeta. Este that's es what el he's mensaje. Mentioned in this is because of the, la yeah, nueva, of the animals don't go in circles. La nueva gestación de la genética. It's the new, the new gestation of the, gene, of the new genetic. Of the new genetic. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then I, I also heard the word portal, possibly. Um, like coming through this portal, a new a new genetic. Um, yeah. So I don't know if we got time to talk about the Pleiades, <laughs> the seven sisters that maybe we save for another time or si tiene tiempo de hablar un poco sobre las, las siete hermanas de las Pleiades. Las hermanas de las playas. Mm -hmm. Si tiene yeah. tiempo, si no, dice que otra ocasión. Eh, bueno, tú sabes que todo es una sincronización, ¿no? La Everything sincroniza is a synchronicity. Y la sincronización de las playas, principalmente, the of the es el portal It's que the nos portal. conecta. Con toda la parte femenina. With all the, uh, the feminine essence. De una nueva programación. Of a new, pro uh, of a new program. Definitivamente las Pleiades traen el, el código femenino de activación. Have the, the feminine code of activation. Para un, para un nuevo sistema solar. For, for a new solar system. Si nosotros dentro de este sistema hay millones de historias y situaciones que nuestra mente y nuestras emociones generan, imagínate qué está sucediendo en las playas. Imagine that we're, we women now are, are feeling all this now. And you know the, the the higher consciousness and everything. Imagine what they're feeling there. The the Pleiades are feeling at this moment as well, because they they represent the the feminine essence. So this would lead to the next thing, which is his thoughts on Grandmother Spider. Of what? Grandmother Spider. Is it? Am I saying it properly? 
grandmother spider it's they, known as that as something different in uh mayan culture but yeah it's known to as the grandmother spider están hablando acerca de la abuela araña no sé si usted ha escuchado sobre ese tema claro ajo ajo i got you here now so we gotta get it out <laughs> Este que quiere saber su opinión sobre la, la abuela araña. Mira, a mí este me entregaron una información eh, cerca, bueno, en la cordillera de los Andes, eh, en el pico más grande de América se me entregó una información que era para la mujer. Ahí se me entrega un báculo. So when he was un... at the, in the Andes, um, he uh, received the specific information for, for, for women. Con una información que habla de la mujer araña. With an information that speaks of, of, the, uh, of a, a spider woman. Y que la abuela araña and the, the, the grandmother, the, grand, the spider grandmother, tenía que dar el conocimiento, had to give the knowledge, de la información femenina, of the, of the, of the female information, the feminine information, que vive dentro the, del hombre, that lives within the man, ya inside. que somos andróginos. Oh, we are androgynous. Por eso es que That's es why. el momento que la This is the moment abuela araña that the, the grandmother spider a la parte femenina masculina the, to touch the, the um, feminine side of the, of the masculine. Porque cuando esta energía se integre entonces empezará el equilibrio del hombre y la mujer. Because when this energy integrates, then the balance between the, the male and the female will begin. Por eso tanto feminicidio en el mundo. That's why there has been a lot of homicides for uh, y por eso homicides. tanta guerra That's why so many entre wars el hombre y la mujer. Between men and women. Porque tanto el hombre como la mujer because the man and the women están are atrapados trapped, en el astral. Are trapped in the astral. Y entonces la araña representa and then, and then the spider represents los caminos de liberación the different paths of liberation desde la genética del óvulo y el esperma. From the, the different paths of evolution from the from the um, the sperm and the egg. From the from the sperm and the egg. Entonces, la, la diosa araña, o sea, la, lo que representa then, es que va then the a equilibrar, will represent, the, will represent the balance. A equilibrar el óvulo y el semen cósmico. They will, she, she will balance the um, the egg and the sperm, the cosmic egg and sperm. Para que se dé la nueva información de la mujer sagrada. So to bring forward the new information of the sacred woman. Y esto es lo que en, este, en esta información me entregan and this information was given to me. Por el plan, ir llevando esta meditación por el mundo. To give this meditation throughout the world. Y a través de estos cantos sagrados. And throughout these sacred songs, activate. Active la abuela. Activate the, the grandmother. Araña, the, the spider, the grandmother spider. Desde el óvulo y el sem. From the egg and the sperm. Aho! 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 Aho!
because we did go there with the androgynous, I know that there are people embodying the androgynous spirit. I don't know if you want to call it transgender or not, that they do have a special place in some rituals. Can you clarify? Está hablando acerca del tema andro, andrógeno. Dice que habla acerca uh, uh, de unas personas que han sido envueltas en, este, en estos rituales. Um, uh, lo que está pasando ahorita, me imagino que se refiere a lo que está pasando ahorita acerca de, de la, la agenda que están empujando este, los oscuros. Sí, pues sí, todo está programado y planeado para que este mundo no de luz, pero la luz está surgiendo y lo importante es mantenernos en nuestro centro. So everything is programmed for for um, to be a, a negative a negative side. So the so everything is programmed to prevent the birth of the light, but the light it's surging anyways, despite this. Sé que hay muchos temas para hablar. There's a lot of topics that, that we can speak of. Para decifrar. A lot of information. A lot of information to decipher. It's to be calm, to be in peace. Y, y and, and, and enjoy this moment. Enjoy this present. It has been an absolute pleasure to be with us in y this com, day. Y compartir con ustedes. And to share with you guys. Thank Podríamos you, estar you. aquí eternamente. Pero es todo por hoy. Es todo Gracias, por hoy que pude compartir con ustedes y ha sido un placer compartir con ustedes. Sí. Igualmente, Ketza. Gracias. Gracias por Gracias, compartir. Gracias, Ketza. Thank you. Gracias. It's been a pleasure to, to, to join us and, and, and to share with us today. Y nos vemos aquí en México. We will see each other in Miami. Mexico. Yes. Nos vemos en Canadá. O nos Miami vemos en or Florida. Canada. O donde estén, ahí nos, or, los, los voy a encontrar. Yeah. Or wherever we are, he's going to find us. <laughs> es un compromiso. This is a compromise. <laughs> yeah. And we will make sure to keep sharing about Mexico because we want people to support you and to come see you in Mexico. Yes. Dice que se va a asegurar de compartir información sobre este en México y ella quiere que más gente lo apoye y apoye este movimiento. Pues bien, yo agradezco mucho a cada uno de ustedes, a sus corazones, a sus espíritus por ahí compartir este momento. Ha sido un placer poder hablar estos temas y... Y pues que la luz continúe, que las bendiciones continúen y que el camino del guerrero y la guerrera siga en ascensión, porque es lo único que tenemos en esta tierra. Dar para ser y estar. This is, um, he's grateful for the time he spent with us and he says that um, the journey that we have of, of being the warrior, it, it continues. We need to continue on this path of ascension. And light, yes. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Ajo. 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 In the cash. In the cash. In the cash. So Loops, how did you feel about your experience and what, what did you get from this? Uh, what I got from this, um, I'm still a little nervous about it, but um, it, to be able to reconnect with him once again, it was it was wonderful. It was a, a privilege, and being with him in person was was completely different than being here on, through Zoom. But I still felt his energy, and he has a powerful energy, and I, I love it. I love it, and I'm I'm grateful that I got the chance to be here uh, translating for him despite that I messed up here and there, but. <laughs> it's a but, difficult thing, but you're gonna, you, you got it in, you got it in. Mm -hmm. So that's all I got, I'm on the spot. For the And you're, and you were on the spot. And so Don. Oh, I'm good. I, I, 
I enjoyed the whole thing. I enjoyed asking about the animals. That was one of the things that I really wanted to to know about. And I'm uh, just glad. That he was I'm there. glad you were mindful of that too. That was a very good question. It was Lupin's question, actually. Yeah, that, that's a very mindful. Like, I don't know if I would have connected that to him, you know, or to ask him that question. And then... Well, um take away from me. <laughs> yeah. And Marvel? So I took away a lot of messages that I needed from this conversation. Um, what stuck out to me the most was... Uh, continuing doing the work that I've been doing. Uh, the 33 stood out to me. The uh, the solar uh, stuff stood out to me. The androgyny stood out to me. And working with Cosmic Mother, or that's what I call her anyway. So I uh, there was just a lot of messages that were just confirming everything. So it was, it was beautiful. And then Terry. Um, well, I just want to thank you for this opportunity. It was um, uh, wonderful to connect with him. Um, I, I missed doing that in October in person, but there was uh, that we, you know, and he covered that. It there was that connection um, from the expanded place where it was, and so just having the opportunity to um, query some of these these topics that we we covered um, was uh, his wisdom is is very profound, and so there's a lot of um, processing and understanding that will come um, as time unfolds. As he said, it's not, was not just one day, you know, it was um, that, that whole process was a process and it, and it flows through. So it's that recognition of the changes that happen on a, on a daily, weekly basis. How do we expand in our awareness? It makes me think deeply. Mm. Akuya mate, aho. Akuya mate, aho. In the cash. In the cash. <laughs> well, I think I hid myself in the video, so show self. So for myself, I just, I heard everyone else's questions and really what struck me was the animals that really triggered a lot in me to to think more about the nature of the animals because I know that they're coming to my doorstep I got like possums I'm surprised I don't have geese but possums raccoons cats peacocks and today I saw that long-nosed bird that looks like toast you know and I'm like God. I yeah, hibis, and he's coming closer and closer to my house, and I'm like, oh my god! Then I saw the tall crane across the street, like one crane, one hibis, one, just one, and they'll come and stand by my house. So it it just made me start thinking more about the animals and our animal totems. It's really exciting the whole idea that we're gonna have our animal totems read to us because you know maybe you had someone do yours before, but I'm just interested to see with the differences, if they're the same, or if it's that plus more. And so I'm really excited about that. The whole story about the turtle, I've heard people talk so much crap about that story, like, oh, it's ridiculous. And I'm like, no, it can't be ridiculous. Everything has a meaning. Those people did not tell stories. Just yeah, to give those stories. They were, they were telling a story. They were telling a real story. Yeah, they were telling the real story. Yeah, and so I've listened to also about the seven sisters of the Pleiades and people's memories before birth and how they went through the Pleiades. And um, and the, the last thing was, I've heard Native Americans talk about the transgender, how they do have a special role in certain ceremonies and things. So everything that's happening around us is all for a reason. It, nothing is happening by chance. There's some people who are polarized extremely to the left of an of a idea or extremely to the right of a day, an idea. But let's remember that the idea itself 
or what is happening in front of us, all of it is needed, all of it's necessary. Where the issue is, is when people need to find balance on how they absorb the idea, how they perceive it, learn it and understand why. Our genetics are causing us to do certain things where we consciously and subconsciously do not understand. Our movements are driven by the spiritual world. There's prophecy that's already been put out before us that it's already told us that these are the things we're gonna have to see, like you know the eagle and the condor. There's different prophecies out there and they're not just blowing smoke, it's all for a reason. And I just really am starting to understand, especially with our DNA, we are driven to go interspecies and interracial. If you want, um, you know, there's been over 22 forms of humans on this planet. And so we're being driven somewhere and we need to observe and, and not be triggered by every little thing, but to actually just grow to listen and understand, just as he says, right? To just be a part of it and, and and relax, <laughs> calm down. And we don't have to freak out about everything that's changing around us. And most importantly, cure yourself, like what he said. Cure yourself. Cure, yourself. cure your heart. Be you. Be like Elena keeps saying, go within. Go with. It's the same message. Alex been saying it. He said it right now. Elena's been saying it. Go within. That's our work. That's our main work. We want to we help in this ascension. We have to go within. So you're not shy. You can stop saying that, Lupe, that you're shy and because, you know, when you got something on your heart, you just bust right on out. So we're not going to listen to that. You say that no more. OK, um, <laughs> <laughs> you're not fooling me, lady. All that, right. that, that's what I said. That's what I said after after this, the conference, after what he did to me and other work that I've been doing. I grew into myself like I shed it the skin. And I'm into myself. I, I know who I am, where I came from. I'm stronger than ever. I'm very confident and I'm just very centered in my mission. And, and, and it's true what he said. It activated us. It affected us in different ways. Even saying that word, I put on the bottom of Danny's video that then you got to have a warning. If you're going to use that word, it's a warning because you probably shouldn't be driving and listening to it because it it does something to you like it moves you and i was like oh my gosh like they were all saying the word over and over again say it again uh, which one which one the one that wakes the giant oh saying that word it it causes a vibration to go through your body and i was noticing like oh i can't drive and if they keep saying that like wait a minute i'm gonna have to pull over like that <laughs> something inside you yeah mm -hmm. so i just want to thank you dawn and i want to thank you lupe marvel and terry good night it was ladies night wasn't it <laughs> yes, oh, it was. i just yeah. realized that like he was surrounded by the ladies but five just, ladies <laughs> I just thank you all and thank you all for watching and we love you and we'll continue to give you these wonderful, beautiful messages to help you along with your ascension. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 <laughs>